Hello, this is Steve from RV Squared. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a bit of an issue in regards to heat and fuses. Coming across a desert last week, I encountered some of the hottest weather I've ever driven in uh, for a long duration. The temperatures were in excess of 113 degrees. Most of the time it was 117. And uh, I started having electrical issues. I think the problem, as we talk about this issue with the techs, is that I actually have resettable fuses and they look like this. This is my fuse panel. The problem is this, it's right next to the engine. And the way the engine is ventilated, it's ventilated out the far side. So it gets all the cooling on that side, the fans on that side. This side tends to get super hot. These are automatic resettable fuses. So it's very much like a resettable breaker. We believe that's where the problem arose because even this is a manual reset. And this happens to be a five amp manual reset. And when it gets overloaded, it pops that little button out. And in that extreme heat, we had a five amp trip on us multiple times to where we had to come back in, push that back in reset. So in talking to the mechanics out at Newell, the electricians out there, they've had issues with these resettables as well as these manual reset fuses. And they recommended that I go through here and especially for the very critical fuses for the DEF supply, the transmission, the battery merge, these things that are kind of critical because if these low amp fuses, the five amp in particular, they cannot tolerate this heat. So they recommended to go in and replace them with standard fuses. Of course, that means you're gonna have to keep spares with you. But the fix couldn't be easier. You pick up an assortment pack, you carry some spares with you. I've gone through and replaced the critical fuses with the fixed fuses, and I suspect I'm not gonna have any more problems. And I think that some of the issues I had going across the desert, I'm going to guess what that was was it was actually a five amp that tripped and it may have reset itself or it may not but these inherently have a current issue when it comes to heat and i hope that it's going to fix my problem i wanted to pass it along to you uh, in case you got these similar type of auto resets they're really slick but it's just the wrong location. If you had these things and they were in a, a place where there was protected for heat, I think they're good to go. Obviously, we all know what a pain it is to carry handfuls of these around, especially when you have a problem and you keep popping them. Hopefully, I don't have any more problems. All right, so there you go. Have a great day and thanks for watching and safe travels.